Hi, my name is Samantha Ruiz and I am a 2017 graduate from Donna North High School. I am currently employed for Entrovision, which they run Fox and Univision Canal 48. My job title is a multimedia journalist slash anchor. So I am a multimedia journalist from Wednesday through Friday and then during the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I anchor for both shows, which is Univision 48 and Fox News Rio Grande Valley. Muy buenas tardes, les saluda con muchísimo gusto Samantha Ruiz. So during the week as a news reporter, I report basically anything that's going on, whether it be hard news, uh, deaths, uh, shootings, car accidents. Also, we also work on soft stories, which are maybe community news, what's going on in a school, what are people trying to do to raise funds for maybe uh, animal cruelty or any food donations that might be going on. Tell us what you saw. We know you found three decomposed bodies inside an apartment. Was there any foul play? What do we know as, as of now? Those names out to you guys first, once we let them know, once we identify the bodies and let the next day what inspired me, I just wanted to be different. I felt like everybody at my school, in my grade level, back at Donna North High School, they everybody wanted to be a nurse or wanted to be a teacher. But for me, I just wanted to, to go out of the box. I, I didn't know anyone who worked for news or who worked uh, on TV or maybe on social media. So then I, I just wanted to be different. I wanted to to, to be that voice. Also, I wanted to help people. And I know as a nurse, you can help a lot of people, but you can help one person at a time. And I feel like for news, you, you're, it's just so broad. Today, I, I help someone, tomorrow, someone else, or in, th in that one same day, I can maybe impact the life of five different people. So that is why I chose this career. And I've been here for two years already, and I am so thankful for the opportunity because I know also coming out of college, maybe not having the experience or not having enough experience, you might not get hired in, in a place or in a company like this. But I am so grateful for the opportunity I got. I did have some experience uh, when I went to the university here at UTRGB, but then this, it was a whole different ball game and I just love it. <laughs> Good evening, thank you for joining us at nine here on Fox News, Rio Grande Valley. I'm Samantha Ruiz. Let us begin with your latest news. When you're in the field, it's just your tripod, your camera, your mic, and you. I know some news stations locally here in the Valley do have a photog, their reporter, but we do everything. That's why we're called multimedia journalists. So we drive ourselves, we set up our own tripod, we get our own interviews, we edit our own material, and then we present live for a newscast. And I've learned to love that. I do, I really do love it. I love the adrenaline. I love chasing the story. I love getting the interviews and then seeing the outcome. And I know it's just maybe like a minute or two that airs on TV, but it's just so rewarding seeing all your hard work in that one or two minutes segment. And the anchoring, I love it as well. I, but I feel like reporting is, is my favorite. When I uh, went into this career, I wanted to inform, but especially for my community, because my parents are only Spanish speakers. So I felt like they, they seek the news to get informed and they seek obviously Spanish news. So when I came into this career, I wanted to, to follow that. I want my parents to, to watch me and also all my other Spanish speaking community because I know here in the Valley, we, most of us know the Spanish language. And then the transition from both, sometimes it's very, very hard. I can, as reporting, well, even as anchoring, I anchor both shows, which is our English and our Spanish, which is Fox and Univision. But for our reporting as well, you have to know how to write in Spanish and then switch that switch right away to, to Fox, be ready for Fox, and then write your script in English, get all those interviews in English as well. Sometimes when I'm interviewing someone and I ask questions, I either ask them in Spanish and then they're like, oh, I thought the interview was in English. And then I'm like, I'm so sorry, like let's switch over or vice versa. What time was this call received? I know it was late at night, but can, do you have a time? I know hard news or, or murders or all of that is, is important to communicate, but the stories that I love to do the most is when I, ha when I can help someone, when there's a fire and people just don't know where to seek help, how to, uh, how to start, who to ask for. I just love talking to those people and being like, hey, this is me, this is what I do, I want to put your story out, and then these are all the resources that you can also look out for. So I feel like that's 
what I want to do. That's what I want to continue to do. I just want to help people. I just want to, to be that voice for someone that might not, not that they don't have a voice, but they just feel like they, they can't speak loud enough or that they just don't have the resources to do it or maybe the, the language barrier to do it. So that's what I love to do and I just want to continue doing it.